woke up in the morning, I say I need one of those They got me trying, I did close They got me trying, I did close I swear to God, I never What's good, YouTube? Whenever, wherever you're watching this video, I appreciate for spending your time right here, right now. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why some handsome men won't receive a text back after a one night stand. Before we get into the video, I want to say I appreciate all the new supporters and all the supporters who've been here from the start. Welcome to the channel if you're new and let's get straight into it. Now, as a handsome guy, you need to realize that you, you've now become a fetish. Whether you were born handsome or you worked to yourself to become handsome, even, if you, even for the guys who are born handsome, for example, in my experience, you're, it's like you're instantly a fetish. It doesn't matter if you're underage or not, you're instantly a fetish. Like, I used to have people saying to me, I want you to marry my daughter and stuff like that. They might have thought that's a that's an innocent joke, but that's almost like I'm, I'm a fetish. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like a fetish. They, mo they may, may have seen it as something just innocent, but it's like I'm, I'm already a fetish at a young age. Like, I'm sure you guys have had it where you go to a relative's house and you know the relative is playing around with you saying oh yeah you should marry my daughter and stuff like that so as a handsome guy you become a fetish and what happens now when you become a fetish is women purely women just so, just purely have lust for you they may not necessarily want to they may not necessarily want to let you see their vulnerable side they may just want to have sex and etc now it's like for, for men for example you might see a, a female and you might be like damn She's a bad bitch. She's sexy as fuck. You know what I mean? She's a baddie. She's this, she's that. But would you want to settle down with a bad bitch? Probably not. Because bad bitch, bad bitches come with bad bitch problems. You know what I'm saying? So you might, it's like men, we see a female. She's bad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? We see her, you know, wearing a certain, wear, wearing certain clothing. And we may feel like, damn, I would hit that. But would you necessarily get in a relationship with her? Probably not. That's the same way women see handsome men. They see a handsome guy, they think, he's handsome, he's attractive, she may find you sexy. But am I gonna settle down with this handsome guy? Probably not because he's gonna have other, other women, which is gonna make her insecure. He, he may cheat on me, he may do this, he may do that. So it's not really, there's not really much difference between the two genders when we're viewing the opposite gender. What's good guys? So since I started this YouTube channel, I've had quite a lot of people reaching out to me, asking me questions, and I can't get back to every single person. So I started a consultation service. It's in the description down below. You can book a one-on-one -on -one meeting. We can FaceTime, anything. And I've also started a Patreon for exclusive content that I can't post on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Back to the video. We might see a female a certain type of way and want her for sex, but not necessarily want her for a relationship. Same way they may see a handsome guy. They, a, that's why you'll see women as well. They may they may go for a guy who's attractive but not too attractive, just so they can prevent stuff like him him getting attention from other girls. So, as a handsome guy, you need to realize women may come. Ac you may come across certain women and have one night stands with them, and they won't necessarily want anything else. Which, depending on what you want, if you want a relationship, it might that might not be what you want to hear. If you don't want a relationship, that might be perfect for you. But there's going to be women out there that you deal with who they see you as something solely to lust over. You know, you're, so, you're something just to lust over. Also, as well, with women, it's like, you see the way we as men, we're like, we see a woman who's like bad. I'm, I'm, we fuck that. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's like a kill. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's like a kill. We've knocked that off the list. We've knocked that off. We've knocked it off the hit list. We, you know what I mean? We did that. Same way with women. They see a handsome guy, and they'll be like, "Yeah, that's that's something. I I, I had that. I, I'm a bad bitch. I can attract that type of guy. I'm that girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm that I'm, I'm that female. They, they, they'll feel that they'll be feeling themselves just because they're attracted a handsome guy. Now, for men and women, it is different because you as a female shouldn't really be bragging about attracting a guy to hit, to smash, you should be bragging about attracting a high value guy to cuff you. You should, you know what I mean? So it's not really a flex for a woman, but for a man, he can kind of flex that because it's like, with men, our sole priority isn't to get relationships, it's to have as much bodies as we, as we can get. You know what I'm saying? But for a woman, her sole priority is to get a relationship from the highest value guy. So guys, I'm just breaking it down there. If you don't receive a text back, after a one night stand, just realize a lot of the times they just they just lust over you. You know what I mean? They lust over you. 
I appreciate you guys watching this video. Whenever, wherever you watch this video, I want you to have a blessed day. Take care of yourself and focus on yourself, guys. If I'm going to say anything, I'll, if I'm going to leave you guys with anything, focus on yourself because we live in a society where everyone's doing this, everyone's doing that, everyone's doing this, everyone's doing that. And it's like, there's a bunch of noise. It's just like a bunch of white noise. You know what I mean? Just clear it out. Focus on what you want to do. What's going to fulfill you in life? What's going to fulfill you in life? Do something to make people remember you. You know, don't just... Don't just be here to be here because at the end of the day, this, put, this earth can be stressful. It can be a stressful life. So don't just go through stress just to go through stress. Make something out of the stress you go through. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day and I'm out.